Hey YouTube, good morning. Okay, I've done uh, lots of videos recently about stuff as I find it. Um, so I thought I'd do another one of these showing you the other end of the process as I'm getting stuff ready to send it out to the customers. Um, uh, I've had some good feedback about these as well because people find it inspiring to see the success I have and the things that sold. Uh, and it's a great way of uh, getting some information across about what sells and what it goes for. So yeah, I'll crack through the stuff. I've just um, picked all these orders and got them ready to package. So before I package it up, I'll do this quick video just to show you what's going on. Uh, so I'll whiz through these. Um, right, this you probably saw in another video, Dymo lecture tag thing. That's sold. I um, can't remember what I paid for it. I think it was three. I can't remember. I buy so much stuff. I think it was about three pounds. Uh, and that's gone. I put it on at ten with two ninety nine shipping. So I didn't make a lot on that, but it was okay. Uh, this again, I showed in another video. Super Game Boy adapter for the Super Nintendo. Lovely example of that, all boxed and complete. Uh, and that sold for £20 with shipping on top. And that I bought with the Super Nintendo console. I paid three or four pounds for the whole bundle. Uh, so that's gone for 20 I sold the console for 35 It's great money in the vintage games. Um, some Xbox 360 games. Um, these are Gears of War 1, 2 and 3. And those I've sold for $15.99 with free shipping. Um, so they were cool. You've probably seen that I saw, I take the little uh, download scratch cards out of those if, if they've still got them in them when I find them and uh, sell those as well. Uh, magic cards. Magic stuff has slowed down a bit because I haven't been listing individual cards. I've got thousands and thousands of individuals waiting to be done. Um, it's the sort of thing through the winter months when I'm not getting much stock I will fall back on this. I've got so many magic cards waiting to be listed in little lots like this. Uh, these four cards there and they've gone for £2 with a pound shipping. So that's nice. Um, I sold another... There it go. These have slowed down. These magic packs that I sell uh, it tends to sort of go in waves. Um, I only sold one. My, that's a 3.99 pack of 50 black cards. So they're just all black common cards. Um, all right, what have we got here? More packs of hair dye. This is blue. Pack of three blue hair dye. Uh, it's gone out at 10.99. Quick shout out to Chris uh, about the hair dye, he'll know what I mean. He's uh, having a go with this sort of stuff. A uh, pack of red as well has gone out at 12.99. I sold some more blue as well. I sold all of the blue I had, which is frustrating, but I managed to find a little bit more this morning, so I'll relist that. So that's all good. Uh, more Scrabble tiles. So two H letters. Uh, I've shown these before. What we do is we make stuff out of them. Uh, these have gone for two pounds a tile, but we turn them into things. And one is going to be a brooch, and the other one is going to be a key ring. Um, so yeah, it's those. The Wii stuff's still selling well. Uh, white nunchuck. I don't get masses for these. Six pounds with free shipping. Uh, black ones are a little bit more sought after. Eight pounds with free shipping. But the Wii stuff is still selling through really well. Oh, another Wii thing. This is what you call a classic pad. It's to run your your vintage downloaded games on. Um, and that I put on for $12.99 with free shipping. Um, some more Lego bases gone out. These always sell well. Two 
green Lego bases, 24 by 32 pin ones, uh, £15 for the pair with free shipping. But they're so thin, they'll go well as a, as a large letter, so it'll probably only cost me a pound to send those. Um, so they're good. I've been selling Lego for years, it's great money selling Lego. Uh, a book, build and detail model cars. Uh, this cost me 50p um, and it's gone not a lot. £7 with free shipping. Again, probably only cost me 99p to send with a large letter. Another book, this is a Peter Gabriel like uh, sort of biography uh, with some really nice early pictures from the 70s. Uh, that went the same day I listed it. Uh, that went yesterday and it's gone at 9 is it? Yeah, £10 of free shipping. So that was cool. Uh, and that was 50p. In fact, it may have been less than 50p. Very little anyway. Okay, more Wii stuff. I've been clearing all of that. Uh, a FIFA 12. Yes, believe it or not, you can sell those. Not a lot. £5 of free shipping, but it's great. That would have been picked up as part of a bundle, so it cost me pennies. Um, uh, more Wii games. It's sort of bog standard Wii games that I pick up when I buy bundles. I've said this before. The stuff that's not worth your time listing on its own. I make up these bundles. And this is a nice bundle of like kids themed, loosely themed games. And there's six there. So these would have cost me next to nothing. £20 with £2.99 shipping. I've just titled it as bundle of six kids family games. Um, so yeah, great stuff. They've gone. I made up two bundles uh, like that from the stack of games I showed you in that video about Wii stuff. So two bundles of six or seven games. They both went quick at 20 quid. And the other games I listed individually and a lot of those have gone now already. Virtually all the Wii games gone. Okay, a few games are going out the door. This, um, talking of Wii's, I bought a Wii bundle off a woman. Uh, and then I, I asked her to keep it in the back of her car whilst I went round the rest of the sale. And then I dropped off all my stuff, went back and picked up her Wii console. But I also bundled a load of other board games and stuff with it and got a really good price on the whole deal. And when I came back, she said, do you want this because you bought all the other board games? It's really fun. Your kids will like it, blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, I'm not really too worried. And she said, oh, I don't want any money for it. Just have it and take it away. So I just said... Thank you very much, that's very kind of you. And there you go, another board game. Uh, I'd never heard of it. It's called Challenge. Uh, challenge, basically. And anyway, I whacked it on for £5 with £3 shipping, and that's sold. Um, another one. Ah, oh, Simpsons Cluedo. The Simpsons themed games do have a really good market, they tend to sell quite fast. Uh, this was in really nice condition. It's not a particularly expensive one, it's fairly common, but I got £10 and £3 shipping. I usually pay a pound, if I'm lucky, 50 pence on those. Uh, these are still selling well, they're starting to speed up now because people are already buying for Christmas. Uh, these Hot Wheels Stunt Devil Packs. Um, which I'm clearing at da, 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 £18 with free shipping. These were picked up in in the supermarket at Tesco's for £4.50 last spring when they when they uh, when they changed up their toy range, you know, and they cleared stock. So that's cool. I've still got loads of those though. This was the last one. I had a load of these. These were all picked up in an online sale. These are packs of uh, phonics kids books. This one, unfortunately, I couldn't sell for the price I was getting for all the others because it has a rip. I think you can see that the bottom's ripped. Everything's brand new and, and sort of sealed up, but the, the little wallet that they come in is ripped. So I just knocked this one out at. £25 and free shipping. Still making money on that. I think I paid thirteen fifty a pack on these. So that's still good profit, but I was getting £35 a pack on all the others. 
That's the last one of those to go. Uh, puzzle. I picked up a sealed one of these yesterday, uh, which I'm going to list at about 15 to 20. This used one, uh, checked and complete. That's my little note. And that has gone really nice and quick for £10 with shipping on top. So that's gone. A Pictionary, I buy and sell these all the time. The contents of this one were brand new and unused, so I asked a little bit more than I normally do. I got £13 with £2.99 shipping on top and I would have paid I think I paid a little bit more than normal because it's all new inside I think I paid a couple of pounds for it operation these go all the time um, what have we got? 6.99 and 2.99 ship these I pick up for 50p if I'm lucky or a pound I keep just relisting the same listing with that. Um, as long as the, the boxes are in the same sort of condition and, and it looks identical to the picture I've already got, I can just relist the same listing. And they, they click through really quick though. Another vintage downfall has gone. I pick those up all the time. And there you go, $12.99 with the shipping on top. So it's always worth picking up. Just be sure that it has all of these little, it has uh, five yellow, five red, and then I think it's green and blue or purple of these little counters. You just have to check that they're all in there. So that's nice. And um, that's about it. A few bits of clothing. You will have noticed that there's not been much clothing going out. Uh, and... I haven't been showing any clothing in my pickups. That's because I don't source the clothing. My wife sources all the clothing. And um, we're not listing our clothes on eBay at the moment. My wife is experimenting with different markets and uh, using Facebook and she set up her own website and all that sort of thing. So, so we're kind of holding back putting our clothing on eBay at the moment because we're experimenting with new ways of reaching uh, customers with that, but there is still a few bits on there that it's just old stuff that's ticking through. Um, but I'll show you the few bits that have sold. It's always interesting to see what's going out. These are Baby's Converse, a lovely little laceless converse, uh, and they have gone for seven pounds uh, with three pounds shipping on top. Uh, we'd have paid like 50p or something for those. So they've gone. Um, what have we got here? This was this is a clearance item. We've marked right down to get rid of it. Two pounds, but with three pounds shipping on top. So the shipping's more than the item. Five pounds total. It's just for a little baby grow. So that's. And we paid pennies for these, probably 10 pence. So that's still probably 20 times our investment on it, even at that markdown price. Uh, and then another one, this again has been marked down by the look of it, just to clear its old stock. 2 99 and 2 99 shipping for a pink little dress thing with a dog on it. So that's cool. So that's those. Um, yeah, if you've not watched me before, uh, this is what I do to earn a living. I buy stuff secondhand from people, I buy new stuff at retail, and I turn it all over through eBay. eBay is the, the, the outlet where I sell my stuff. Uh, I do sell a little bit on Amazon, but not so much these days. Um, yeah, and I'm just here on YouTube sharing with you guys what I do. Um, and hopefully inspiring a few people to give it a go and sharing some hints and tips on what to buy and, and where to sell it and how to sell it. So thanks for watching guys. Please like if you enjoyed that and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll keep making these videos uh, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.